Hi, everybody. So let's talk number of the day. <clears throat> we are all doing a great job at writing in word form. Remember, when you say your number of the day, we do not use the word and. So we should not write the word and. For instance, 56,594. It is not 56,594. There is no and in that number. It is only the numbers. So make sure when we're writing, no and. Okay, thumbs up on that one. Um, when you're building it, you're doing a very good job of remembering to put everything in the correct place value. So good work on that one. Comparisons, we're doing a good job on comparisons. So I have no problems with this part right here. So far, we're good to go. When we get to expand it, some of us are forgetting to do this one. Please do not forget to expand it, which would be to write an expanded notation. For example, it would be 50,000 plus 6,000 plus 500 plus 90 plus 4. That is my expanded notation for 56,594. Okay? Divisible by two. So excited. You guys are doing great. Remember, our even numbers are zero, two, four, six, and eight. Our odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, and nine. If it is an even number, it is divisible by two. If it is an odd number, it is not divisible by two. So we look at the very last number, very last digit in our number to determine if it is an even or an odd number. In this case, four is an even number, so it is divisible by two. Okay? Place value. What is the value of the digit? Well, my I have two fives in this number. I have a five here and I have a five here. So what is the value of the digit five? Well, the value is either 50,000 or 500, depending on which number I'm looking at. Okay, because this is my number, 56,594. Rounding, you're doing a great job at rounding as well. This one says round it to the nearest 10,000. My 10,000's place is here. My 6 is going to determine if it goes up or stays the same. 6 is more than 5, so my 5 needs to get bigger. So this gets bigger, everything else turns into a 0. Alright, so there's all that. Now let's talk about this area right here. This is the area we are having the most difficulties with. Some of us are skipping it all together, which is not okay. Some of us are writing numbers that are nowhere close to this, whatever our number of the day is. So let's go over it one more time. Write your number from this box. Write it right here in between less and more. That way it's closer to you. I'm going to focus in, so all, all we're seeing is this, so that it's nice and big, okay? In this section, you are going 10 less and 10 more than whatever this number is. You're also going to do 100 less and 100 more than this number. And then you're going to do 1,000 less and 1,000 more of this number. So, I'm going to break out some colors today so that you guys know what I'm doing. We're going to start with the tens. These are my tens. This is my tens place. Okay? I need to make this number ten more. So, I am adding one, basically, or you can say you are adding ten. So, is this number going to change? No, not whenever we're doing the tens place. 594 minus 10. 
10 less than 594. Well, what's 1 less than 9? 8. So 56,584 is 10 less than 56,594. I changed the number in the tens place. I went down by one digit. Okay? This is tens place. This is what changed. Now I need to do 10 more than this. Okay. So 56,594 plus 10. If I am not sure, I can grab a piece of scratch paper and say, okay, I need to add 10 more. Make sure you add, get your place values in order so that you are on the right place value, like your nine and your one line up for this one. And you can add it together. What's four plus zero? Nine plus one. One plus five. And bring those two down. So, Five that fifty six thousand five hundred ninety four plus ten is fifty six thousand six hundred four. I went up in place value, right? I went up ten. That's what I did. Let's do the next one. The next one is the hundreds place. My five is in the hundreds place. So my five is what's going to be changing this time around. So let's do less. What's 100 less than 500? Well, that would be 400. Nothing else changes except my hundreds place. That's it. What about if I go 100 more than this one? Nothing changes except my hundreds place. And it went up by one and it went down by one. Okay. Now let's look at our thousands. My thousand this time is a six. So I need to go up a thousand and down a thousand. Let's start with up a thousand. What's one more than six thousand? Seven thousand. Uh, Five hundred ninety four. What's 1,000 less than 6,000? It would be 5. So on this one, I changed my thousands place numbers. All right, we're going to keep working on this because it's super important that you guys understand that you can change just part of a number and you can show more and less uh, by using place value. So that's what this one is for. Okay, show your work, please. Make sure that you attempt this one and attempt it correctly. You're working on your tens place, your hundreds place, and your thousands place.